All right, so our math goal for this lesson is shift patterns in multiplication. So write down anything you know about multiplication and um, any patterns that you know, and then come back to me. All right, well, hopefully you said that when you multiply, there is patterns if you're multiplying by powers of 10. So for example, if you're multiplying by 10, or 100 or 1,000. So what do you already know about multiplying by 10 and 100 and 1,000? Um, stop the video and write it down in your math notebook and then come back to me. All right, well, hopefully you said that when you multiply by 10, right, the number that you're multiplying gets 10 times bigger. If you're multiplying by 100, the number you're multiplying by gets 100 times bigger. Or if you're multiplying by 1,000, it gets 1,000 times bigger, right? They're becoming 10 times, 100 times, 1,000 times bigger because it's powers of 10. So let's look at an example. Okay, here's your example. Ella earns $243. Wow, that's a lot of money for a fifth grader, right? But not a lot of money if you're an adult, okay? So Ella earns $243. How much will she earn in 10 weeks? What happens to each bill and the digit when it's multiplied by 10? So here I have my two in the 200s, the four in the four in the tens, and the three one. So it's basically, it's one times 243, which is just 243, right? Okay, so let's look to see what happens. Okay, so let's look what happened. So after 10 weeks, when I multiplied by 10, the digits shifted. Did we shift them to the left or to the right? Okay. And how many places did they shift? Because see, now look, I multiplied it by 10. It was 243. Now it's 2,430. So what happened to the digits? Did they shift to the left? Did they shift to the left or to the right? So let's take a look at that. So you can see that they shifted to the left, right? Because they were over here. The two was here and the four was here and the three was here, but they shifted over and they shifted over one place because it's power of 10. And let me write that up for you so you can see it. As you can see, the three was here, right? It shifted one place over to the left. The four was here, it shifted one place over, and the two was there, it shifted one place over. Because it's you're multiplying by 10, powers of 10. So it shifted over one place to the left. And that happens to any number when you multiply by 10. The number increases 10 times, and all the numbers shift over one place to the left, okay? Okay, so now let's look what happens when we multiply by 100. So how much money will she earn in 100 weeks? And what happens to each bill? And which way will the digits shift when it's multiplied by 100? So let's take a look at that. Okay, so let's look at that. So if she earned 243 in 100 weeks, right? She's going to earn 24,300. And they shifted over two places to the left. So they went to the left and two places because you're multiplying by 100. Do you see a pattern? When we multiplied by 10, they shift over one. When we multiplied by 100, they shifted over two. Are you noticing something? We're going to talk about that in just a minute. Okay. So let's see what's looking. Let's take a look at the shifting. So let's look what happened. Remember, the three was in the ones place, the four was in the tens, and the two was in the hundreds. But now look what happened when we multiplied by 100. It became 24,300. Notice what happened to the three. It shifted over one, two places. And look what happened to the four that was in the tens. It also shifted over one, two places. And what happened to our two that was in the hundreds? It shifted also one, two places. So they're shifting over twice because I'm multiplying by 100. 
Are you starting to see the pattern? So let's look at one more and then we'll talk about the pattern. Okay, so what's going to happen now if in a thousand weeks, how much is she going to earn in a thousand weeks? What's going to happen to each bill and which way are they going to shift when we multiply by a thousand? So hopefully you're starting to see a pattern here, right? Okay, so when we multiply by the 243 by a thousand, right, it became 243,000. Okay, and they shifted over. Oh, it's, yeah, they shifted over to the left, right? Still to the left. We're still going to the left because we're getting bigger. And how many places they shift? This time, three places, right? And look at our 1,000. Okay, so are you seeing the pattern yet? Maybe. We'll talk about it in just a second. Okay, so let's look to see what happens to our shifts. Okay, so let's see what happened. So I had my original 243. I multiplied it by 1,000. So that's like multiplying 10 times 10 times 10 times 243, right? So notice there's three tens. So there was three shifts, right? So the three moved from the ones place to the tens, to the hundreds, to the thousands. We did three shifts. The four moved over from the tens place to the hundreds to the thousands, to the ten thousands, and then our two moved over from the hundreds to the thousands, to the ten thousands, to the two hundred thousands, and it became 243,000. So are you beginning to see the pattern? Hopefully you are, right? So anytime you multiply by 10, there's going to, you're going to add a zero to the other number and there's going to be one shift. Notice there's one zero. When you multiply by a hundred, right, there's going to be two shifts and you're going to add two zeros. When you multiply by 1,000, there's going to be three shifts and you're going to add three zeros. Notice in the 10, there is one zero, one shift, one zero. In the 100, there's two zeros, so you're going to shift twice, and you're going to add two zeros. In a 1,000, there's three zeros, so there's going to be three shifts, and you're going to add three zeros. Notice to the number 243, what did we add? One, two, three zeros. And if we go back to the one we multiplied by the 100, what did we add? We added two zeros, okay? And we multiplied by 10, we only added one zero. So when you're multiplying by tens, hundred thousands, by powers of 10, it is super, super easy. You just see how many, how many zeros, is it a 10? You're just gonna add one zero, one shift. If it's 100, it's gonna be two zeros, two shifts. If it's 1,000, three zeros, three shifts. And let's practice those. Okay, so let's look at that. Complete each exercise. See the shift in motion. So 567 times 10, right? So one zero. So I'm just going to, I'm going to keep the 567. I'm going to add one zero. Notice what happened to all the numbers, right? The seven was in the ones place. Now it's in the tens. The six was in the tens place. Now it's in the hundreds and the five that used to be in the hundreds is now in the thousand because it's now 5,670. Super easy. Okay, let's look at the next one. 38 times 1,000. So I'm going to keep the 38 and I'm going to add three zeros to the end of that number. One, two, three. So what happened to the eight? The eight was in the ones. Notice it moved over one, two, three places. Now it's in the hundreds and the thousands place, sorry, I was gonna say hundreds. And look what happened to the three that was in the tens. It now moved three places because it was here and it moved over one, two, three, now it's in the 10 thousands, okay? So you try the last two and then come back to me and then we'll go over the answers. Okay, so let's see. 
did you come up for 912 times 100? I kept the 912 and I added two zeros. So it now becomes 91,200. So what happened? The two that was in the ones place, right? It shifted over two places. Now it's in the hundreds. The one was in the tens. So it was here in the tens and it shifted over one, two places. And the nine was in the hundreds which was right here, and now it shifted over two places and it becomes 91,200, okay? 700 times 10, I kept the 700 and I added a zero and now becomes 7,000. There was a zero in the ones place and the zero that was in the ones place shifted over one. The zero that was in the tens place shifted over one. And then the seven that was in the hundreds shifted over one place to the thousands place. So hopefully you can see that when um, you are multiplying by 10, 100, or 1,000, all the numbers are going to shift over to the left, and it's going to become bigger. If you multiply by 10, it's going to become 10 times bigger. If you multiply by 100, it's going to become 100 times bigger. If you multiply by 1,000, it's going to become 1,000 times bigger. All right, so... Write down what you learned in your math notebook. Do a proof of learning by solving a problem. You know, pick a number, multiply it by 10, multiply it by 100, multiply it by 1,000, and see what's happening to the digits. They are shifting over, if it's 10, shifting over one place, right, to the left. If it's by 100, they're shifting over two places to the left. If it's by 1,000, it's shifting over three places to the left. And then a reflection or question you may have, all right?